Hey everyone, it's Amanda Gilmore from She Creates by the Seashore. I am an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up located in Ladysmith, BC on Vancouver Island. I received my paper pumpkin a couple days ago and um, had a bit of time this afternoon when I got home from work to play and I wanted to quickly share um, the kit that I received and um, do a card with you. So if you're joining me live, make sure that you do say hi below so that I know that you are here. Um, and if you're watching after the live taping, definitely comment below so that I know that you've seen the video, whether it's on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. So Paper Pumpkin. This is um, March 2018 was the fifth anniversary for Paper Pumpkin. So it was a very special, um, a very special box to receive in the mail. Normally, they come like this um, in an orange box at my front door, but this time it was a different color. Hey, Corey, how are you? Um, so Paper Pumpkin, if you don't know anything about it, I'm actually just going to read it right from page nine of our annual catalog. So Paper Pumpkin is Stamping Up's monthly crafting subscription. It's everything that you love about Stamping Up on autopilot. So it's you can either do a month-to-month -month subscription, so I pay um, $26.95 a month, which is shipping included, and I receive this, this box. I get everything in this box. You can also do um, prepaid subscriptions, one month, three month, six month, and then 12 month. And the six month and the 12 month, there's actually um, a better value and you get a bit of a discount if you subscribe to that. You can cancel at, or put on hold at any time. So if you have any questions about Paper Pumpkin, definitely message me and I will, um, I will respond and yeah, answer your questions. Okay, so inside the box, I have already opened it. I did make the cards because I, that's just me. That's just how I am. So inside the box, um, it says here on the top, so Paper Pumpkin, fifth, five year anniversary, it was established in uh, 2013. Five years of meeting you at your mailbox, creating and sharing millions of projects together, inspiring countless smiles and glad hearts. What will we do together during the next five years? Question mark. And then paper pump, hashtag paper pumpkin five. So with each paper pumpkin, we get our, um, we get an instruction sheet. So it's colored on the outside and then all of our step-by-step -step instructions on the inside. And then on the back, it tells you what is included in your kit. So you get a stamp set, which is right here. It's a photopolymer stamp set. You get an ink spot. This month, it's the early espresso. Uh, we get eight card bases, eight card panels, eight envelopes, four die cut element sheets, one laser cut element sheet, a sticker, strip sheet, four and a half yards of ribbon, uh, 16 yards of white linen thread, 16 antique brass brads, 12 pink pearls in two sizes, 12 purple pearls, 275 dimensionals. I don't think I've ever seen it's it's like eight and a half inches, eight and a half by four and a half inches long. Like I've never seen a pack of dimensional scent. So um, that I, I actually had a good chuckle at that. And a hundred adhesive dots. So really it has everything in this kit, whether you are a beginner crafter or you are advanced and looking for something special every single month. We don't know what it is ahead of time. So it is really, it's a surprise at your front door. Again, like I said, it has all of the instructions. It tells you how to stamp, how to clean and store your stamp. Um, yeah, it's it's absolutely fantastic. I love that sheet. Me too. This is this is fantastic. So March's um, paper pumpkin is called "Make Good Things Grow." That is the theme. I have, like I said, I have already done them, but I am going to stamp with you. So this is one of the cards. Um, very obviously floral. Very pretty. And then this is a coordinating envelope. And on the back, you've got the brads. And then what you would do is you would tie the, the thread around. This is another one. This is the one I thought we could stamp today. 
very, very pretty. And then that's the coordinating envelope. And again with the brads. So how beautiful is that? So with this, you get eight cards, four of each card. So you get four of this one, four of that one, eight cards in total. And um, when I first opened it, it's a very vintage, um, it's a very vintage, to me anyways, the floral is very vintage. I like it. Um, it's stunning. It is. It really is. It's, um, it's very, very pretty. All right. Okay. Let's dive in because I have chatted, 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 chatted. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this card and I'm just, I've got everything here in my box. I'm just going to pull everything out that we need. I do keep everything in the um, paper pumpkin box because A, I don't want to lose anything. And if I want to take this to go, it's a great project that I can take to go. Work on it um, while you're waiting for an appointment or waiting in the car, going to a friend's house. So um, yeah. Okay, we got that. We got our card base panel. That we have to stamp. We are going to need a sheet of the die cuts. Oh, and I also forgot, holy smokes, because it was our fifth um, anniversary, they sent us a um, beautiful gift. So a gift to say thank you. It's Paper Pumpkin's fifth anniversary, and we're celebrating. Please enjoy these wood embellishments as our way of saying thank you for five wonderful years of creativity and sharing. So, um, yeah, beautiful. It's always nice to get, it's always nice to get a gift. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put the instructions there. Okay. And I have the early espresso in the larger ink pad. So I'm just going to save that little stamping spot that I got. And yeah, I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to do a little bit of an alternative with this card. I'm going to make a Mother's Day card. All right. So hope everyone had a lovely, lovely weekend. The weather has actually been pretty nice. All right. So I've just got my uh, stamping pierce mat down. And I'm just going to ink up my, my stamp. Might be a bit small, but that's okay. What's really nice about the paper pumpkins is they have the instruction sheet so that you can follow to a T because there are, you know, some people just like to do that. They like to get the instructions, follow the kit, and, um, you know, not go aside to what the instructions say. But you can also do alternatives. And um, that's what is really nice about Instagram and Facebook as you can see people who get their monthly paper pumpkin if you look up the hashtag paper pumpkin or paper pumpkin alternatives you can find alternatives to the month's um, kit so oh, got a bit of ink on my I'm gonna bring this forward a bit making sure I don't press down. Don't press down on uh, where the ink is there on my block. Okay, there we go, in the corners. How are you, Corey? How was your day? Okay, we're done with the ink. Woo! Of course, I just closed the ink pad and got it all over my desk. So now I'm going to clean it up. Otherwise, I'm going to have ink everywhere. It is a very, you know what? It is. It's a pretty stamp set. It is. Yeah, it's got um, some beautiful sentiments. I am having a party. Um, it's got happy birthday. Hello. What a beautiful friendship we've grown. Happy Mother's Day and may good things grow all year long. And then it's even got these beautiful um, leaf and flower. Leaf and flower. Um, images. Okay, so we're done with the stamping. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so 
there's our card base. Yeah, the friendship one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very pretty. Like it goes with this card here. What a beautiful friendship we've grown. Like it's just, it's absolutely perfect with, with this kit. Okay, so I am gonna actually do it on the side instead of, I guess, what is that? That's horizontal rather than vertical. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces of this ribbon. I'm not necessarily measuring, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. All right, and the adhesive dot sheets here. So what I'll do is just place a couple on the back. Okay, and peel off. So they're kind of like the Stampin' Dimensionals, the um, adhesive dots, but obviously they don't have the dimension, they're just the adhesive. Okay. So again, just eyeball, you don't have to Yeah, it is. It's exactly. Yeah, it is like a glue dot. Yeah, exactly. It, um, you know, they're fantastic to have. They're great to have in the kit. And, um, yeah, they definitely come in handy. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to put that there. So then with this, um, the die cut sheet. We're gonna use, we're gonna use these right here. So these just pop out. Okay, so we're done with that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dimension both of them, or all of them, I should say. Okay, and then I did find with this leaf, I'm actually just going to use like a half a dimensional. So I'm going to pop this down. I keep looking at my other card because I'm thinking, what am I forgetting? Why is this so easy? Because paper pumpkins are that easy. Really, it's just... I mean, if you want to follow the instructions, like I said, it's fantastic. You can. It's, um, but if you don't, you can just look at the picture and um, follow along that way. I'm actually, yeah, that's okay. I'm not going to be too fussy. All right, and then we're just going to build our die cut. So I'm going to go this way. Down. You can either do it down one side, along the top. Again, it's just a, it's a, an alternative to all right. I'm gonna take that one under there. And the last little leaf. Okay. I like it kind of tucked under. All right, there we go. And then we have these beautiful pearls, and I'm just going to take a couple of those and randomly place. Okay. And I will dimension that onto the cart. sure it's the right way up. 
there. So there you have it. A beautiful card and the coordinating envelope. There's that one right there. So, so fun. So that's the one from the instruction. Oops, get that out of the way. And then that is the alternative. So really, all I did was just went from uh, vertical to horizontal and just changed out the sentiment. So again, just showing different um, different styles and if that was a sentiment that you didn't want to use and you had another one in your stamp set, you could easily, easily change it out. So there is, and the envelope could be a card. I know, it, um, absolutely, it, it's, it's beautiful. It could be mounted onto cardstock and um, yeah, it's stunning. It's a beautiful kit. It, um, like I said, it reminds me a bit vintage. Um, I almost think that um, Shelly, the uh, the founder of Stamping Up, I think she had a bit of a design in this because this is just her taste. She um, she was into the vintage. So there you have it. So there is March 2018 Paper Pumpkin. May good things grow. So thanks, Corey. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.